Welcome to another shave here on the Soap Thing Project. Behind the scenes, during my off-camera shaves for the last four or five months, I have been on a binge of hard pucks. I have been using the Taylor of Old Bond Street, which I have done a review on already, so go ahead and check that out. I've also been using uh, the following, including but not limited to, the GOF Trumper. D.R. Harris, Leah, Bombi, and finally, the one we're going to use today is Saponificio Vericino, and this one is the Stella Alpina. So let's take the soap and let's talk about it, and we're going to do a shave with it. Here we have the puck of soap sitting on top of my Shave Nation marble soap dish. I will say this about uh, the Saponificio Vericino shaving soaps. The uh, ingredients are such that you really want to put this into some kind of a bowl if you can find one. Some of their soaps come in tins, some of them just come as a refill puck. This one, as far as I can tell, just comes as a refill puck. The packaging is actually very impressive. It comes in this cardboard box, as you can see right here. And then when you open it up, if I can open it up without ripping it, inside of the box is another cardboard box, which is what the soap container comes in. And it's just wrapped in uh, tissue paper. So definitely an A plus for packaging. What I was trying to say before I got distracted by the packaging is that this soap, once lathered for the first time, is quite slick to the touch, even after it's been sitting around dry for a while. So if you can help it, you might want to uh, find a bowl to put this in and just leave it there. Okay, this is the 4.2 beta formulation. I will go ahead and put the ingredients across the bottom of the screen for you. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but we're getting some pretty heavy rainfall right now. <clears throat> anyway, as for the price, it is <laughs> very expensive, $43 for 5.3 ounces. And that's just for the refill puck. If you manage to find one that has a tin, it's probably even more expensive. But in my opinion, it's worth it. This soap, as far as the, the ease of use, it lathers really quickly and really easily. And the primary and residual slickness is unbelievable. It's better than practically any artisan I've ever seen. It really is crazy stuff. So we're going to do a shave with it, Saponificio Vericino. The aftershave I decided to pair with it is the Pro Razzo Green. I didn't get the matching aftershave <laughs> for the uh, soap because it is quite expensive as well. So we're just going to go ahead and pair it with uh, a cheaper Italian... Uh, after shave in the Perezzo green the soap obviously is Italian. So we have a little bit of an Italian theme going on here <clears throat> Now for the razor We have the Merker progress adjustable razor and I am going to put a Gillette Nasset blade into it And for the brush we have the 22 millimeter HL Thater 4125 So let's do a shave Okay, I think I'm going to lather this practically the same way that I lathered the Taylor of Old Bond Street sandalwood puck. I'm going to take the HL Thater brush out of the brush cup. It's been soaking. And I'm going to wring as much water out as I can and just kind of take it and do this into the sink to shake out any excess water. And then I'm going to take the sink and turn it on so it's just a dribble. There we go. And I'm just going to take the puck in one hand, the brush in the other, and just start lathering onto it. Here we go. 
I'll try to do as much of this on camera as possible, but as you can see, we're getting some serious suds out of it already. And you just keep uh, adding water as slowly as possible. Add a little bit more water. Go back to the puck. A little bit more water. Back to the puck. And look at that, already that is plenty good enough to do a shave. <clears throat> it's, it, this stuff is insane. It really is. It's, I was, I knew this stuff was good from watching other reviews, but I didn't know it was this good. It is uh, easily among the best performing shaving soaps I think I've ever seen. Okay, I think that's enough water. And I'm going to set this puck down onto the soap dish and wet the face with two days of growth. I'm just going to wipe this extra soap off of my hand, kind of use it as a, I guess, a proto lather pre-shave. Scent strength on this is uh, not super impressive. It's a two out of five on the sniffo meter. <clears throat> but what scent I do get out of it is very, very good. Okay. Grab this towel. All right, let's put the, put the soap on the face. Wonderfully slick stuff. I'm going to add just a little bit more water to this. Okay. Now, got the Merker Progress with a Gillette NASA blade in it. I'm going to set this at two and see how that feels. Here we go. So far it is very nice. <clears throat> I have a feeling this is going to be a good shave. I've got a great razor with a great blade and a great soap. Let's activate the iPhone cheat sheet and talk about the scent of this. So for the scent, uh, I've looked at a couple different places and there's a couple different descriptions of it, but one thing that seems to be consistent is that the, it is described as having lemon, bergamot, basil, eucalyptus, myrtle, cypress, and amber as scent notes. It's supposed to smell reminiscent of a certain kind of flower that is found in the Swiss Alps. I can't remember what kind of flower they called it. I'll put that at the bottom of the screen as well. But if you like scents such as Creed Silver Mountain Water, like your Sterling Mountain Man, or uh, Creed Himalaya, that would be your Sterling Ramblin' Man, then this is kind of a similar scent. <clears throat> it's a uh, citrusy, herbaceous, kind of crisp and brisk from the eucalyptus. Uh, I'm getting just ever so slight hints of cypress in this which gives it kind of a, the best way to describe it is kind of a woody, kind of a slightly green woody uh, scent to it. At least that's the scent profile that's being added by the cypress. And then amber, uh, I don't know. 
Yeah, a little bit. Because amber will come off as uh, rich and sweet and resinous. And I, I do think I'm getting hints of that. This stuff is, oh my God, it's so slick. And if you keep adding water to it, you can just blow this stuff off. It'll just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. You cannot drown this stuff. At least within reason you can't. Like just with what's left on the brush, I could probably do a five pass shave easily. <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's triple milled, it doesn't say, but it is fuel efficient stuff, that's for sure. God, it's so slick. Not that I'm gonna do this, but if I were to get out of this hobby, and just go to like having one or two shaving soaps and a couple of brushes and a handful of razors and that's it. Uh, I'd probably be using this most of the time. Yeah, it's a high-end product. But when it comes down to where the rubber meets the road, this stuff... does what you expect it to do better than practically anything else. Okay. spots I missed. Okay, let's have a rinse. <clears throat> slickness on this stuff is just is just insanity like the the oils and kind of the just the the slick to the touch feel it leaves on your face is crazy Wonderful stuff. If you got money in the budget for it and room in your shave den for it, I definitely recommend picking some of this stuff up. It's craziness. Okay, the Prorezzo Green. Let's put it on. Not hardly any burn, so that means it was a good shave and the soap had something to do with that. If you got a really just insanely slick soap, it will, it really will uh, forgive a lot of poor technique. I would rather have a great soap and be not a skilled shaver than be a skilled shaver with bad soap. If, uh, if it was a binary proposition, which it isn't. Okay, where'd I put this thing? Here it is right here. My final thoughts on Saponificio Vericino, Stella Alpina. If I exhausted this to nothing, would I buy it again? <laughs> well, I've been using this uh, most shaves, I'd say 80% of my off-camera shaves, and it doesn't look like it's changed much. So I think uh, it would take me a while to exhaust this down to nothing, but if I did, you bet your ass, I'm buying this again. 
I might get a different scent. This scent is good, but I would just want to explore some of their other products. It is uh, wonderful stuff. I cannot recommend this enough. You know, every once in a while you stumble across a product that's just such a tremendous surprise. You never thought it would be this good. But this, this stuff is not playing around. They are charging a, an exorbitant price for a reason. It, it definitely walks the way it talks. That's all I'm going to say about it. It's the best way I can describe it. Okay, questions or comments, put them in the comment section of the video. Otherwise, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.